Now looking back at that, that sort of explosion of building of theatres in the centennial years in Canada, do you see that as a, as a success? Well, again, the same thing was the case too often. I, I was consulted to some of the buildings, which I like to think turned out reasonably well. Which ones, in, like your, in the, your estimation, the, the, the were the better ones? The Cops Auditorium in, uh, in uh, Hamilton. And I, I was on the, the committee for the National Arts Centre, too. Uh, but the Queen Elizabeth in, in Vancouver, there's a famous story of how they got together and decided it was going to be above cost, and they had to cut the cubic space so what did they do? They lowered the ceiling, I forget, six feet or something, which completely screwed up all the acoustic arrangements and uh, the lighting. And, mm -hmm. and this happened all too often of, of these buildings getting into the hands of, of architects of the kind Guthrie meant when he said, when he was set out to build the building rather than the tent at Stratford, he said to the committee, please send me an architect who does not know all about the theater. Because they all thought they did. Right. And that's how the, the role came to Bob Fairfield, who said, I don't know a damn thing about the theater. Teach me. <laughs> wow. And looking back at the building of Manitoba Theatre Centre and uh, Oh, there have been big improvements Center. since, but in Calgary, for instance, they've had to redo the theatre uh, more than once. And I couldn't believe it when I was in the original space, the width of a stage uh, as, as compared with the scope of the seating arrangement around it. It was uh, mm -hmm. awful. Yep. awful. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they, and, and then again there was this terrible miscalculation about putting the money into bricks and mortar. It's an old story when what matters is, is the continuing costs that, that come in afterwards. You build these places with marvelous facilities, all sorts of tremendous opportunities to do great things. But it takes continuing money after that. You just can't build the building and walk away. And what's really needed anyway is the passion, not the, not the boards, mm -hmm. when you come down to it. And I remember, of course, it had not been so long before my mother had toured all over America doing Shakespeare on a stage put up with boards at mine heads at the pit heads you mean the stage was at the pit head or yeah the, the stage was mobile right. a mobile stage with with uh, with tables and boards right. one of the stories is that that uh, from that time is that Sidney Greenwood who became the fat man in film <laughs> but then it's like actually on his entrance as uh, Orlando, in as you like it, jumped onto the stage <laughs> with his sword drawn to say to the banished duke and his assembly, uh, "Withhold and <laughs> eat no more," <laughs> and fell right through the board. 